see by the title, this is going to be a DIY Tumblr clothing video. Um, I came up with some ideas. I did not see any of these online anywhere except for one of them is inspired by Jack Vanek. The rest of them I just kind of like thought of stuff from stuff that I've seen and I was like, hey, that'd be funny if, and I just kind of like did it. So I hope you like them and I hope they're a little different than the other Tumblr DIY videos that you've seen for clothing. And I just want to say thank you for all the support lately. Not that you guys haven't always supported me, but like, you know what I mean? But basically I just want to say thank you because like I love making videos, but I never have anyone helping me usually. Maybe 1% out of the 100% of the time I have somebody helping me, but usually I'm just filming them on my own and you guys always love them. So I just want to say thank you. But anyways, back to the intro. Um, the highest end amount that I paid to make one of these DIYs I believe was $13. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the video. So this first DIY is going to be a two-piece set and all you're going to need are some fabric scissors or regular scissors, a like little girl's dress, and then just some pins to kind of mark where you're going to be cutting. So this is super easy. If you buy the dress in your size, there will be no sewing needed. So all you're going to do is pin it where you want to cut it and then just kind of count down to wherever that is. And then you're going to use your scissors and you're just going to cut straight across and then you guys will see that I had sewn mine because mine was a little too big, but if you get it in your size when you try it on, then that's all that you have to do. And it does fray a little bit, but I would just wash it once and then cut off any extra, and then you're good to go. So now I'm just cutting it a little shorter because it is a little long for me, so you just go ahead and take that pin out once you've marked where you want it to be cut. And then once you've cut it, you have your top and your bottom two-piece set. So this next DIY is a grid crop top and all you're going to need is a t-shirt. I just got a white small t-shirt from Michaels for like $3, a pair of scissors because we're going to be cutting this into a crop top, a ruler, and then just a thin point sharpie. You can use a larger one if you want the lines to be thicker, but I wanted mine to be pretty thin. So all you're going to do is cut it into like a muscle tank crop top. And then you're going to place your shirt down on a flat surface, grab your ruler, and you're just going to start drawing lines. You can make this as thick or thin as you would like, just going down the shirt and then across. And you can go back in and fill in a little spots because since it is a t-shirt, it's probably going to wrinkle a little bit. So you can just go in and just fill them in lightly. But I kind of like how it looks kind of like it was drawn on. It reminds me of something that Urban Outfitters would sell for like $60. Anxious like the ocean in a storm When we go out Yeah, we're a legend Coursing through our bodies till we're warm so this shirt is inspired by one of the Jack Vanek flannels that I saw on her website for $84. So all you're going to need is some chalk that you can find at Michael's for like a dollar, a paintbrush, you can find these anywhere to be honest, then some paint. I got this fabric paint from Joann's for about $1.25. And then you're just going to put a box underneath it and then you're going to write out whatever phrase you want. I did Come As You Are, which is obviously from a Nirvana song. I absolutely love them and I listened to them when I was growing up. So I thought, why not, especially since this exact flannel is on her website, so you can even compare them. And then you're just going to paint right over top of that. And I picked a glossy paint, but you can buy a matte one if you would like, and move it up as you go, and just keep painting, and then let it dry.
This last DIY is your typical tumbler tee, so you just need a t-shirt and some transfer paper. This is about $10 at Michael's. So then I just hop onto Pick Monkey and I change my background to transparent. And then I'm putting a rectangle on there. You can use whatever shape that you would like. And then I drop my phrase on top. And I did flip the image just because my directions told me to on my screening paper. So I go ahead and print that out. And I printed it on normal paper first just to test it out so I wouldn't ruin it because it's a lot more confusing than you'd think. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And I did crop my shirt just like I did in the other t-shirt DIY in case you were wondering why it's already cut. And then I just ironed my shirt down and ironed the screening on top. And the screening paper that I bought is intended for light fabric, so if you want to use a darker fabric, make sure that you pick up the one for that. for the video I just realized that I've been wearing hats in like all my past intros in the last video I was wearing like was I wearing this hat I think I was wearing this hat in the video just kidding the video before that I wasn't wearing a hat but I just love my hats everyone's obsessed with hats for summer I don't even know why but I'm loving it because I can wear a hat and nobody's like hey you're not going to a baseball game take it off but yeah, I'm glad we had that little ramble. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I will have a little linky on the screen and there's obviously the subscribe button down there so you can hit that. And then also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Law and Was and Snapchat. It's Law and Was. I show you guys sneak peeks all the time on my Snapchat. You guys probably saw the flannel. Like I show you guys everything. So be sure to add me on Snapchat and that is all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. I love you.